Hi, I'm Amy Fox, IFBB Physique Pro and Sponsored Athlete for Platinum Labs. Looking at you through the glass, don't know how much time has passed. Oh God, it feels like forever. No one ever tells you that forever feels like home. Sitting all alone inside your head. How do you feel? That is the question. Oh, don't forget, you don't expect an easy answer. Something like a soul becomes an initial life. Hold it up like paper towels. When I competed in FitX was probably the hardest competition. Well, it was the hardest competition that I've ever um, competed in. And that's out of all the world championships and, and things I've done as well. So um, although there was only two other girls in my division, it was definitely the most stressful and um, the most intimidating show that I've ever done. Yeah, so basically hamstrings is probably one of my favourite muscle groups to train. Um, I find that it's one of my stronger points of my physique. Um, it definitely dominates my quads in my opinion. Like I, I feel like I've got better hamstrings than I do quads, which is quite the opposite to most girls. And I guess that's why I enjoy um, training hamstrings over, you know, squats and, and stuff like that. So there's lots of different angles and things that I use for, for hamstrings and a lot of it um, I was taught by Andy. So uh, yeah, I, I get on the lying hamstring curl for example and um, I normally do a warm up by pressing my hips quite hard into the pad. So that's just to isolate the hamstring and make sure that I don't recruit any of my um, lower back muscles uh, to do the movement. And I just find I get a really good burn and um, a really good contraction by doing, by doing that uh, with my hips. Um, Sometimes I turn the toes inwards and I, I have the knees quite wide and again, um, you know, there's quite a few muscles that make up the hamstring so you can't just hit one angle constantly otherwise you're not going to get any better. So I just go for, you know, the width of the hamstrings as well as, as making them kind of like stand out and hang. Um, so the more kind of variations I, I can do with the, the hamstring curl the better. So I try and be quite creative with it. <laughs> I just want to get noticed, so um, the, the biggest thing for me is to nail the condition. I know I say it time and time again, but it is a, a, um, probably the hardest thing for me to get right. Like I, I'm not a good eater, I don't, um, I'm not very strict with my food in terms of how much I eat and um, when I eat and the food timings, and, and that's what Andy is obviously very big on. Um, so I'm getting better, I'm not great, but um, I guess uh, that helps with, for me, putting on a lot of muscle as well and, and doing that quite easily is because I train really hard and um, I eat a lot. So, you know, put those together and, and you'll get some sort of muscle growth. Cause I'm looking at you through the glass Don't know how much time is past All I know is that it feels like forever All I have to tell you that forever feels like home Sitting alone inside your I guess a little bit of both, but I'm not overly worried um, because I feel like, for example, Juliana uh, Makane, she she lost quite a bit of weight for the uh, last show that she did. She, she just won. So um, I think that you're still going to get noticed even if your physique is, is too big for, for the um, women's physique category. Um, Danielin Bailey is quite deceiving. She's actually a lot smaller than me. When I stood next to her at FitX, uh, I realised how much bigger I am. Um, however, like I said, she is deceiving. She does appear huge. She's got huge arms, huge thick mid back. Um, those are things that I think that are lacking on me. So I think, um, yeah, if I can build up those areas, I, I might in fact look a little bit too big for the division. But again, if my condition is, is uh, you know, exactly what I, I hope it will be, then I'm not too worried. Like, I'm happy to lose a show being too big. I'm not happy to go into another show and lose because, you know, I'm too fat. Yeah, so it's 12 weeks out of uh, my first, first pro show uh, as of Monday, and um, I've just got a big delivery from Platinum Labs um, of all my goodies to start using. So, um, you know, I've always been big on just having coffee as a pre-workout. I tried DEFCON for the first time uh, the other day and it knocked my socks off. It was pretty good. So I haven't used anything like it before. Um, 
for me, uh, the dosage on it, I have to have half. Like it's it's too much for me. So it's one of those ones when they say it's it's going to work, it's it's going to work. So um, yeah, that was pretty good. And just you know, when you use a, a pre-workout such as that, like something that's really stimulating and is going to rev you up, I think it's really important to have something that's going to calm you down as well. Because there's always a consequence for doing these things. So um, so my sleep's not affected. I've started using the Fenibut, and um, the Fenibut I find is just really nice. It's it starts to like I don't have a problem sleeping generally um, once I'm in bed I go straight to sleep so it's not for that but I find if I take it early enough it almost starts to relax me enough to to the point where I actually want to take myself to bed a little bit earlier which is really cool so um, yeah I, I've just noticed a, an improvement with how I feel the next day after having the Fenny Butt because it's allowing me to to relax and almost like de-stress for longer so yeah it's a cool product Slipping farther What's out on Won't let go Till it bleeds Shell forgotten With its memories Diaries left For cryptic entries And you don't need to bother I don't need to be Farther, once out on a 